The average day for Sergeant Stubbs consists of snuggles, snacks, and of course, a few cat naps. He's a kind cat who has had a rough start to his life. They found him and they first had to amputate the infected part of his legs off. Rescuers believe Stubbs was hit by a train last October, causing him to have his back two legs amputated. He's just spent a lot of time in casts and getting medicine and escaping from every kind of cast they ever gave him. After being in foster care, he was taken in by Adam in February. Gotta get out of bed. Life was on the up for Stubbs, and it was about to get a little better thanks to students at the UW-Madison Makerspace. The, the students looked to do was create a prosthetic for Stubbs to um, give Stubbs a little bit more mobility at home. Makerspace is a facility where students create and innovate through technology. For Stubbs, students spent countless hours to create 3D printed legs for him to get around with. It's very important that they made a prototype they would bring Stubbs in, they would try on the prosthetic, see how the cat reacted to it, and make changes. Stubbs gets all strapped in and can move about. He roams about the apartment anywhere where it's soft or there's carpeting. He doesn't go near any of the hard floors. Each of these legs costs less than $10 to create. However, Stubbs is a keen kitten and has figured out how to take his prosthetics off. But he can still make his way around, especially when there are treats involved. He also plays with his brother, Captain Crash, who has a condition which makes him a little wobbly. I catch him now, hanging out together, sleeping next to each other. Not, not so much touching and cuddling, but just they're, they're comfortable being around each other now. A second chance at life. Well, he's had a hard beginning to his life being a street cat and having all the different surgeries and the different kind of pain he had to go through, but now he's now he's pretty comfortable. Taking total advantage of his second life, landing right back on his feet after being knocked down. In Oak Creek, Megan Hedstrom, Spectrum News.